and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent spirit guide messages. Uh, now, Gemini, I also did your urgent spirit guide messages, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like, Gemini. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Gemini, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Gemini. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Oh, Gemini. Uh, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And then as well, I would really appreciate it, Gemini, if you were to take that extra step for me and to give this video a like and subscribe to support my tarot reading channel, because I do appreciate it when you guys do that for me, and it does help me out a lot when you guys do that. So, uh, yeah. And then finally, before we get into this reading, Gemini, I just want to say that uh, I don't believe that tarot readings, tarot cards, uh, should be making the choices for you in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not the tarot cards, not anyone that you receive a reading from, right? I believe tarot cards are here to give you some perspective, some food for thought as you go throughout your life, but never should it be making choices in your life because it's just not our place to be doing that. It's not the card's place, not anyone's place, but your own. So... With all that being said, my beautiful Gemini, let's start getting into this reading. Uh, do we want to pull a couple more cards? Let's pull a few more cards, Gemini, before we get into this. But let's, I know you're probably looking at this Five of Wands right here. And if you're familiar with tarot at all, it is the card of conflict. It could be conflicting thoughts, conflicting goals, right? But we'll see. We'll get a better picture once we actually go into these cards. But what we're actually going to do first, Gemini, is we're going to put these to the side for now. We're going to address your animal spirit cards first and foremost. So we'll start with the um, we'll start with the giraffe spirit first. This is number twenty nine, equaling to eleven in numerology. The giraffe spirit says or asks for you to see the pic bigger picture in things. So right off the bat, your ancestors, Gemini, number eleven. I don't. I think I told you to write it down, already, Gemini. But it, the eleven card is the wish card, right? Is the wish number. I feel like eleven, like eleven, eleven, right? I feel like the Number 11 is such a worldly known number. Um, but when you have the see the big picture with the 11, it's kind of like almost like your ancestors, Gemini, asking for you to think bigger. So have bigger goals, perhaps. With the skunk spirit number nine, this says know your worth. So yeah, really affirming what I was saying, Gemini, where it's just like, it feels almost like there's on some level that you are settling, right? And where your ancestors are coming in, they're just like, no, Gemini, like, you deserve so much more. Why are you settling right now? Do you need to start uh, seeing your worth truly for what it is. Take a hard look in the mirror and wonder, ask yourself why it is you're choosing to settle in some aspect of your life. Right? With this Wolverine card as well, you're a lot tougher than you think you are. There's this constant theme, Gemini, with these three cards uh, in that you aren't seeing yourself for who you truly are. Now, Gemini, I also do your weekly general tarot reading each week, um, which I'll leave a link to as well over there. But I bring it up just because of the fact that I know um, in your latest general tarot reading, Gemini, that you had a lot of pressure put on you. Um, there was this sense of where all eyes were on you. And so it's kind of letting me know in this sense that like maybe some pressure some level of pressure is stressing you out now. It's letting me know that you don't know, like, I don't want to say you're uh, crushing under the pressure because I know you are persevering through this Gemini for sure, but it does give me this sense of um, fear, just a little level sense, a little sense of um, just unsureness and where it's just like, I don't know if you feel like you're up for the role. I don't know if you feel as if like you, are able to handle anything bigger and that's why you're settling. It's almost like you're um, Gemini trying to play yourself down on some level. 
you're trying to trying to water yourself down um, because you don't either want to disappoint yourself or you don't want to disappoint other people that are relying on you because I do feel like a lot of people are relying on you and um, with this Wolverine spirit coming in saying that you are tougher than you th you are a lot tougher than you think you are for some of you Geminis I just want you to take a moment while you're receiving this reading and just to take a deep like breath <laughs> and I ask this and I kind of have a feeling that some of you guys Gemini are going to just end up getting teary-eyed um, at some point in this reading even probably during when you take a deep breath because I just get the sense that some of you guys are just so tense like so tense in the chest um, and feeling like my throat closing in as well so it's like there's just a lot of pressure Gemini and I feel like you've been in this mode of where it's like you haven't turned off like you wake up each day and you're just like okay like what do I need to like what is what is being thrown my way this time I even think I said that in your last reading and it's like you wake up and you're just instantly on even when you go to bed at night you don't even probably get restful sleep you probably haven't really felt well rested in quite a while Gemini because it's like so much pressure on you so much that you're having to manage um mm. Yeah, you guys, Gemini, need to take a moment's breath because it's now. And it's like even though you're 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 going through this, like I don't want you, I don't want you this sounding like Gemini that you're struggling. I mean, maybe you can even let me know in the comments. Maybe some of you guys are typing right now and be like, actually, Valka, I'm struggling, honey. Give me a lifeline, right? Your ancestors are giving a lifeline in the sense that um, it's almost like they're trying to bring awareness to you that this level of um, trying to just stay strong this level of just trying to um i don't know it just feels like this what you've been going through has just really been taxing on you now um you've been going through it pretty well um but now it's just starting to take a toll on like your personal view of yourself right because you're tired maybe that's where it's just like you're trying to settle on some level but spirits your ancestors are really trying to push you on in some way my beautiful Gemini. So let's get into these tarot cards now. We have the Awakening card, number three, um, my favorite number, but I feel like number 11 is the only relevant number for you for numerology in this reading. Gemini, so only look up the... I mean, if you feel called to the other numbers, honey, you're more than welcome to do it, right? I'm not here to tell you how to receive your reading, right? I'm just here to present the information. Um, but with this Awakening card, we'll get things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, and same theme, it's important to be yourself, Gemini. So again, this constant theme of reassuring your own capabilities, Gemini, it's this constant like asking your ancestors asking for you to dig deep within, right? To tap into more of your own self, right? I don't know what's going on with you right now, Gemini. Obviously, it's some rough transitions for you. It's some rough things right now. I know the pressure's on you. But it's just like, this is not the time to um, play yourself down. This is not the time to be doubting yourself, right? This is the time to be celebrating yourself, right? Yeah, you can be exhausted. And I know it can, and it's a lot easier for me to say because I'm just reading some cards, right? Compared to actually doing it. But I feel like instead of viewing like these conflicts that you're dealing with right now in your current life as like a something like a chore to do right Gemini view this as like a way of celebrating yourself because you can instead you know I always like to make that um I like to make an analogy of where it's just like if you're able to get the crap beaten out of you by the universe um and you're still able to like look up and just say thank you for this experience Gemini that is when you are at your most powerful because that is when you are no longer taking things on a personal level and you're seeing it as the lessons that they are you're seeing them as the challenges to help you tap into more of yourself right and so in this case your ancestors are really trying to tell you Gemini of just celebrating how powerful and how strong you actually are and how good of a job that you've been doing to manage up until this point gemini so um yeah let's really like start celebrating yourself rather than feeling just constantly um weighed down by these things yeah it can be exhausting still dealing with it but maybe let's have a more of an optimistic view on things right because I really do feel like your story gets better, not just because like I'm a severe optimist in Gemini, because you have this Knight of Cups here. Now, this Knight of Cups talks about, it's usually the sign of like either a person or an opportunity. We're going to speak in terms of an opportunity or a blessing in this reading for simplicity's sake, Gemini. 
Um, but when this when this card comes in, this is a card of like something just on its way towards you. And with this three of wands, and you know, usually it's just like, okay, well, when is that going to happen, right? So with this type of dynamic, Gemini, it's almost like um, with this three of wands, it answers the question of how soon because it's like three of wands is like the sense of where it's just like you're able to see you're starting to see the glimmer of light that glimmer of hope out in the distance here like i would be bold enough to say in the next week or two gemini after you receiving this reading that you're going to start seeing that sign of this knight of cups riding out into the distance towards you whether that's a person an actual person or whether it's a um that blessing coming to you you're starting you're going to start very soon seeing it in the horizon for you and that's when you're going to have your moment of recharging having your cups filled with this queen of cups this is where it's once this moment happens gemini i promise you the stresses and the anxieties that you've been dealing with right now <clears throat> excuse me and like the conflict that you've been dealing with you're going to be like looking back on this after the fact and just be so grateful for the experience because i really do feel like it's setting you up for something big i feel like you're really being your ancestors dare i say are even the ones pushing you to almost your exact limit because it's like if you weren't pushed to this level i don't think there i don't not to say that you're not being you're not naturally a hard worker gemini i don't want that to come off in that way at all what i'm saying is when you're you only really discover your true potential your true strength as it's always said when you are pushed to your brink pushed to your limit you don't figure out your limit until you're pushed and you don't um develop that limit and like go have like a what is the word i'm trying to say it's just like they're trying to push your boundaries they're trying to uh push your comfort zone get you out of your comfort zone and once you're out of your comfort zone that's when you can start having a larger comfort zone right because it's like you're once you're uncomfortable then what's uncomfortable initially starts becoming comfortable to you um with this queen of cups as well i really do feel like the blessing that comes in is just you're going to feel so recharged and you're going to be so happy for the fact of um that the very fact that you persevered through this right um i do like i keep on hearing from your ancestors of just like keep pushing through with something um, now, obviously, it could just be in like the literal sense of just keep pushing through with your life, right, Gemini? But I do get this sense that there is something that, um, it, just, it may not, I feel like you haven't gotten like any, like, this Three of Wands moment is going to be such a relief to you because I feel like you haven't seen the light at the end of the tunnel for a very, 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 very long time, Gemini. So, um, I really do get this sense that, like, there's gonna be such a sense of relief that flutches over you once that experience happens once that knight of cups starts coming into view for you gemini so beautiful beautiful starting spread i just want to say i'm so sorry gemini if you are um that you are going through such a rough time right now even just like tapping to your energy i can just like i'm feeling just like the fatigue and just like like your shoulders just being drooped your like whole body just being tensed up probably even while you're receiving this reading or you're just even while receiving this reading you're trying to multitask and get other things done because you feel like you just can't take a moment for yourself or you're thinking about a bunch of other tasks that you need to do gemini like you're just always on and it's like i'm just exhausted even trying to uh connect with that energy so let's talk about the blessings right we talk about that knight of cups let's see like what that knight of cups entails for you and what i want to come out to all right so let's get into this two of pentacles three of cups the hierophant as well as the knight of pentacles so this is the card when i see the knight of pentacles i always use as an example gemini that the knight of pentacles is someone that is going out of their comfort zone who is um they go uh, they push their they are this is the knight who is like doesn't like to sit in one space for too long they like to consistently um expand the lands that they already have and the only way they expand those lands is by um having you know just going out there right going going out into uncharted territory um so yeah hierophant comes in as well this is just more so like a reaffirmation um gemini that is just it's i feel like this whole journey this long journey 
um, that you've been on that's probably been extremely just draining and stressful it's on the name of getting you to connect to your higher self more just getting more in tune with yourself developing a better relationship with the self right which is what all those animal cards were referencing gemini and with this three of cups two of pentacles this is like a oh how are we taking this gemini i'm more so taking this in a sense that Kind of what I was saying almost before, where it's just like after all is said and done, once you deal with this chaos, right, once you start clearing up your plate, you're going to be really looking back on this and just celebrating this moment, right? I really do feel like, I can't help but feel like there's, <laughs> this may not be something some of you guys want to hear, Gemini, but I have to be honest, right? I do feel like there's just like, I keep on seeing like, I honestly keep seeing like an a tower like crumbling being shown to me your ancestors are showing a tower crumbling which is kind of signifying to me that i feel like there's just like one more experience that's going to happen but it's one more like trying the transition one more trying event that happens but it's somewhere in that event that really uh like I feel like you're going to be dealing with one more tower moment, Gemini, but I feel like it's shortly after that tower moment because I'm being shown like a knight just quickly um, taking off as well from while that tower collapses, um, holding a brown satchel, which is to me signifying that um, you are in, like, it's almost like shortly after a tower moment, you start seeing the benefits or you start receiving, right? Instead of dealing with more chaos, it's not going to be a sense of like, dealing with another tower moment that you have to maintain and manage for like months to come, right? I feel like it's just one more thing to bring things into balance, justice card coming in that just, it's almost like the final key that really starts getting the gears turning um, in your favor. So seven of swords with the eight of cups. Yeah, Gemini and this eight of eight of wands. Yeah, this is confirming what I was saying before. The tower moment happens in the sense of where it's like, I mean, I'm going to be honest, Gemini as well, in the sense that the seven of swords can usually be a sign of betrayal in some way, but let's not go into that narrative. Let's just go with the narrative of where it's just like, like moving on from something uh, with this eight of cups, you're moving on from a situation um, that just isn't of service to you anymore. I feel almost as if like this tower moment it's kind of like, it's like the final push to like the final thing that pushes you to do something big, to do like a big move, even, even in the back of the deck for this other deck, it's the five of cups, right? I can't help but feel like you're having to, you're being pushed, you're being pushed for a reason, but you're being pushed to um, do something really big, like a huge transition, right? Wheel of Fortune as well coming in as well. Confirming what I was saying before, where the gears the gears start turning. This is the gear, honey. Um, very the death card as well <laughs> coming in. My gosh, Gemini, this is such an aligned reading for you. Um, but yeah, Gemini, your ancestors are essentially just saying buckle up for one more tower moment. But it's it's in that stressful time period. It's going to be short lived because that tower moment really pushes you to do something big and i feel like that big move is going to be something so beautiful it's going to pan out to be something so beautiful in the long run so it's just like keep persevering just a little bit longer gemini i promise you your story gets so much better soon just keep breathing honey take another deep breath with me if you need to gemini but like just keep whatever you do just keep on pushing through keep on fighting because your story is going to get better but um, yeah, my beautiful Gemini, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope some of these cards resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading. And then also, I would really appreciate it, Gemini, if you were to share this video or my channel with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, my beautiful Gemini.